Good morning everyone, Max here with A1 Website Pro and today we're going to be learning about color changing with Ajax. So basically this is what you're going to be learning. Uh, if you pick a background color here, let's say we'll pick uh, blue, okay, and then we'll hit enter on our re uh, keyboard there. We'll go ahead and pick a text color and maybe we'll make the text color, you know, like a black red, okay. And then you hit, if you hit change color, you could see that you know you you're changing the color so uh, one more time maybe we'll go ahead and make this uh, dark blue over here Hit enter and then the text color maybe we'll make it a yellow or dark yellow okay now hit enter on my keyboard simply click change color and you can see that this stuff is changing so let's make that white change the color see how the colors are changing and that's what this tutorial is about and we're doing it with Ajax all right so let's dive right in shall we, we first we're going to start with the bare bones of an HTML document and we're just going to give a title of color Ajax color change example okay I'm going to pop in some code here and so and just, just describe what we're about to do copy inside the body tag okay so we're telling the people pick a background color now notice we're using input type color now remember in Ajax we don't have to use form tags okay but the type is color and we're gonna give an ID of BG color short for background color and we're gonna start out with a value of black that pound zero 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 is black in CSS Next, we're going to ask the uh, client to pick a text color. Now, we're using input type color once again, but we give this an ID of text color. Okay? And then the value, we start off with pound FFFFF, which is white. Okay? Put a little line break for some separation, and then we create our button. So here's the button tag. The type is button. The ID, we're just going to give an ID of sub, but we're actually not going to use that. We're going to, if we were using jQuery, then we might use that. But we're just using straight JavaScript, so you guys get a hold on how JavaScript works. And we're using the onClick event. The onClick event is going to call this function called Ajax color, And then, of course, we're going to title our button to change color and end our button tag right there. Once again, we're going to put a line break in. And the next thing we're going to do is give a div ID of status. Now, what status is responsible for is bringing back the CSS to change the colors. Okay? So if I save this document and I load it into my browser here, let me go ahead and bring the browser over. Basically, this is what we have. But uh, right now, if we click nothing happens and that's because we need to put in some JavaScript to make all the uh, the work happen so let me grab this code of JavaScript and I'll explain it to you okay so whenever they click the button to change color Ajax color change it's gonna call in this function Ajax color notice they are the same name that's necessary we make an HTTP request. If you're not sure what these are, you can see one of my earlier videos with all this um, an explanation on XML HTTP requests. But basically, we set this variable of HR for this, and then we set a variable of URL for uh, processor, not demo processor. We're just going to say processor. PHP and that's this file right here that we're gonna to have to construct and I'll be doing that with you as well next we set an uh, BG variable and we're using document dot get element by ID BG color and whatever the value is in there so if we look up above here for BG color we can see that it's right here okay so we've got to make sure that those uh, IDs match the next var that we set in JavaScript is TX short for text we use document dot get element by ID text color so we're getting the ID of text color right here okay and we're grabbing whatever value is in that now <clears throat> we have initial values of black and white 
but as you can see we can change the color. Next we set a variable of vars where we combine the background color and the text color and so here's the BG color variable right here and we're going to change that to BGC for BG color equals back background and and then we use our little ampersand and say TX color for text color and we grab the variable from right here whatever value that is is going to be in there okay finally we are we use the post method okay and we grab the URL that we're using right here and we set that to true and we put a um, HTTP request set request header for the content type and then on ready state change we're going to call this function so when when ready state change is called and if the ready state is equal to four and the HR status is equal to 200, which means everything is good. If everything is good, we want to make another variable and return the data in this variable, which is the HTTP request response text. So whatever comes back from our other, from our processor.php. Now we're going to get document .get element by ID. And let me back this up so I can put this all in one line for you and we target status and that's this diff right here of status and we go grab that inner html and we're going to return that variable whatever variables in there in there now we can put an alert on it right here and i'll leave this in the code basically it's just going to stop everything and put a button saying a color is about to change and i will show you what that is i'll just uncomment that out so we can check it out on the video here. Finally, if everything's good, we're going to actually send the vars, which the vars are right here. Okay, we're going to send those vars, and uh, while we're sending the vars, we're going to get that status. Same thing we're getting here, but while we're sending the vars, we want to to say color change is in progress. All right. And then finally, we close our script tag, our body tag, and our HTML tag. All right. So let me go ahead and save this. Now, it's not going to do anything just yet. Okay. Okay. We can we can pick our colors, and you know, put do do what we need to do here. But it's not going to do anything. Why? Because we need to work on the processor.php. All right. So let's go ahead and pop some PHP code in here. You're going to have to be using this on a server that has a PHP processor. Look back through my tutorials if you're if you're unsure how to set that up locally, but if you're working online, uh, you should have no problems. So, let's go ahead and explain this. So, if is set post BGC, where do we get BGC from? Well, if we come back here and you, you see the BGCs right here. That's one of the post variables being sent to this script. All right. If that's set, we're going to take that post variable BGC and store it in a PHP variable called BGC. Okay. The next thing is TXC. Where are we getting that variable from? Well, we're getting it from right here. Okay. So if that's set, Okay, we're going to take it and store it into a PHP variable called TXC. Okay, now notice what we're echoing back. Okay, we start off with our, uh, our quote, a style tag, body, background, color, and the color is going to equal whatever is in that BGC variable. All right, the background color. Finally, the text color, which in CSS, you just put color, okay, to change the text. And we grab the variable of txc and put it there. Now we're concatenating these. To concatenate, you have to have a, a single quote, a period, whatever the variable is, a period, and a single quote. All right. And this is part of CSS to close off that uh, command line. So the same thing here: single quote, period, whatever the variable is, and then another period and a single quote, and then our CSS terminator. And then finally, we put that in our curly brackets. We're targeting body here. Okay. So let me go ahead and save this. 
Now, we're targeting body, and body is located where? It's located right here. So everything within the body is what we're targeting with the CSS. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up our script. We'll go ahead and refresh once again. Let's go ahead and pick a background color of orange, maybe. Okay, and uh, you can use this little X to get out of there. And then let's pick a uh, text color of black. Okay. Let's go ahead and change the color. Now that little alert says color is about to change and you know the uh, status color changes in progress. As soon as I click OK, there it goes. Now if you didn't want that alert coming up, what you would do, you could just come down here and take it out. I'll leave it in for uh, whenever I put post this script online at awebsitepro.com. Let me go ahead and save it and I will change the color again refresh the page. Use a background color of blue and a text color of white. Okay. That's it. Change color. Okay. There you go. So that's it. This is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this uh, tutorial was informative and educational for you. Uh, leave me comments below, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Mm,